every single time that there's a big problem with an EA game, who's to blame? Usually not the studio, EA themselves. But first off, I do want to congratulate EA for actually being quick to adjust this time. Normally, we get studios closing two years after they've made a mistake. Once again, mistake is generally not from the studio, but like... I like to bring up the Heat example a lot, but essentially, Heat didn't get updates because EA closed the studio upon launch of that game, even though it went on to be the most successful Need for Speed of modern times. This time, uh, it was 12 months. So well done, well done on being quick to react to your mistakes. So some of you might actually not know. Criterion, this might sound familiar, has been moved to Battlefield once more. Are you confused? It's fine, so am I. I'm confused, angry, upset, I'm going to do my best to piece this together, but it might end up just being a rumbled rant because I don't know how else to portray myself. I'm not very good at this. This statement was released and let's just talk about it. I'd like to share the talented team at Criterion Games will be joining EA Entertainment. Now, this requires a little bit of backstory. EA Sports and EA Entertainment are now separate. Need for Speed was put into EA Sports because racing games are sports games. It's really dumb, but that's the basic gist of things. It was in there because Codemasters is also in there. <laughs> I want a tangent about the fact that they bought Codemasters and ripped apart most of their game. Carrying on. Having worked in Battlefield, Battlefront, Burnout, and of course Need for Speed, I'm thrilled to have a studio such pedigree join the studio's I oversee. So Vince Zampella. He's the head honcho, Apex Legends, Star Wars, Jedi, Battlefield, apparently need for speed well now need for speed as i said before we're all in a battlefield today criterion is added to our world-class battlefield studios dedicated to ushering in a new era for the franchise just want to say um, i will absolutely never be buying a battlefield game again and i said that sounds quite petty but i'm petty okay i'm a petty guy this is now twice in the space of three years that they've made the same mistake again need for speed unbound released good game Bit of a problem because they didn't really have much time to work on it. If they had more time, it would have gone to previous generation. And maybe, maybe if EA advertised the game, people would know it exists. But you know, no, no, no. Let's just tear them away again from making the next game that they've probably been working on for the past however many months. Because the game's been out almost a year now. I'm going to catch myself. I'm just going to go on a big tangent otherwise. The majority of the team will be working alongside DICE, Ripple Effect, Ridgeline. Why do they need so many studios for Battlefield? Not finding enough people to hire for the main studios? How come DICE is still around? I have never seen such a colossal fail as Battlefield 2048. Insane, huge game failed to that capacity. That is wild. That you're going to rip up a core thing that need for, like need for speed is such a big name it's it's world it's massive and i don't care i prefer need for speed most wanted 2005 and that era i think that era is almost unmatched in that aesthetic that way but need for speed heat and even going on to need for speed unbound i absolutely love those games they are the racing games of choice for me i will always go to those games because to me the actual gameplay the handling the feel Everything is worlds above anything else that exists. I don't care if you prefer more simulation handling. I don't care if you prefer Gran Turismo or whatever. I do not care. To me, Need for Speed is the most fun you can have with a racing game driving, even in a straight line. I can't explain it. The camera movements, the, the, the feel, but I don't care. What I do know is it's the one that pulls me in. And you throw that away to make another Battlefield game that I just... I don't care. I don't care. No matter what, Battlefield will never, ever get up to Call of Duty. I don't like Call of Duty. I think it's garbage, but that doesn't matter. Battlefield will never match it. Bad Company 2, peak Battlefield, you'll never come close to that. Okay, that's just me, like, Need for Speed fanboy talking. I, I kind of wish they do. I wish, they, I wish they would match Bad Company 2. That was incredible. Everything destructible, whatever. But it's clear that that's not the intent of the franchise anymore. It did something different, and now it kind of doesn't, so... Let's attempt to kill a franchise again that does do something different. Wow, wow, wow. It's great, 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 great. All right. So, <laughs> Criterion's experience with Battlefield and that technology, blah, 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 co will continue to improve upon Battlefield 2042. 24, did I say eight? 
I don't care. And as we continue pre-production on a connected battlefield universe, there's no better studio to join us. There is. I can give you many studios that would be better than taking a racing game studio that is being built as a racing game studio that was created because of the destruction of a previous studio that was made dedicated to create a racing game. Work will also continue on what's next for Need for Speed. Many of you might be familiar with my history of games, blah, 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 don't care. Uh, but you might not know I have a passion for cars. Well, that's good. Uh, let me guess though. You drive a Model X, Mr. Vince? Or something? That's a passion for cars, is it? That, my friend, is a passion for white goods. I don't actually know if that's it. Again, my tangent brain. This is, this is, this is, this is how it works. Which also makes Criterion a perfect match for me to explore another genre in gaming that I love. I, I really, really do hope this man loves racing games to the level that we do. I really hope he's not going to be like, I love racing games. I play Forza Horizon. I will not, not be happy to any level. Games that are different are what we want here. We want just need for speed. Need for Speed needs to be more illegal, more gritty, not fun saving the world. Here's a festival, 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 festival. Like, I love Motorfest, but if I get any more festival games after Motorfest, I'm even talking Horizon 6, I am going to lose my brain. I'm going to go crazy. I will become a GTA YouTuber. I swear it. <laughs> so let's talk about Need for Speed Unbound quickly. And I've made some notes. So please, please do excuse me. I, I'm re I cannot, I can't script. <laughs> it's easy to assume that this move is due to the fact of Need for Speed Unbound, probably only selling a few million likely, right? But we know who the main cause of that is, right? It's, it's well, what the main cause of it was. For example, as I said, the game just wasn't available on the platforms that the majority of people had. They were new gen only when people couldn't buy new gen consoles. And number two, did you did you once, once see an advertisement for Need for Speed Unbound? I did not see anything. And that obviously is an EA call. Now the reason this really, really affects me the most is again, I've, I know these people. Like I, I, I've met them and I've known them for seven years or plus, right? Um, they may have known me for longer in some cases and maybe they're fresh minds and that's good We like we need we need a good mixture of like old and new and I was involved to a little capacity of 2015 the reboot like I was I, I've been there from the beginning I was the one that asked the only sensible question at Eurogamer EGX uh, I was in the crowd with like my 1000 subscribers probably asking questions. There's a clip you can find it. It's on there But I'm here laying it out and I'm willing to help, assist in any capacity that I can. We, and as in the community, we know what we want better than anyone else. I do have to say at the same time, we also don't. When people scream, more cars, more cars. Shut the hell up. That's not going to solve anything. But I feel like I'm in a really unique position where I kind I, just, I see it every day. I get probably more shouted at about stuff than criteria in them damn cell. So use me, like use my brain. I'm genuinely here willing to provide anything you could possibly need from me to any of my capacity, my knowledge, anything. Let me, let me help. The vision for a perfect modern need for speed game is within reach, like super close. I, I would personally say that he was it. I don't care if it didn't get updates, it doesn't matter. The game as it is, is amazing and I will continue to go back to it just like I do 2005. This was a post that came out as Heat did. They set a new record during its first week with more of you playing this game than any other Need for Speed title this generation. Insane. They did incredible. Thank you so much to the team and I'm sure some of these people, some, probably few from what I know, because uh, to be clear, I've had a few people reach out to me. Uh, I know there's a little section on the Eurogamer article that I want to pull out is that racing continues to be a critical part of the EA sports portfolios for greater sports fandom around the world. Our focus is on creating authentic world-class motorsport experiences through EA sport. Don't care. Do not care. I don't like sports. I don't care. Like I, I, if I want to play motorsport game, okay, I will play Gran Turismo, Forza Motorsport. Those categories that category of motorsport is hell. Sure, you're gonna do rally and I'll check out. 
I'm going to check out WRC or Dirt Rally 3 is, you know, what it is. I'm excited for it, but there is no way in hell that it's going to fill any kind of gap that's left by the missing of Need for Speed. There's nothing like it. It's going to become an F1 person all of a sudden. I don't care. It, it just, it's just not the same, is it? You've left a colossal gap in the market if you really throw this in the bin. Now, one other thing I wanted to bring up really interestingly, I put a quite angry tweet out when this all came out. Um, I didn't say the most successful Need for Speed ever made. That's not exactly what I said. I said, Killing Ghost Games after the most successful Need for Speed possibly ever made. Hey, I saw the, po the possibly. He sold incredible numbers. Andy Blackmore joined in. So if you don't know Andy Blackmore, he worked on pretty much all the big Need for Speed games we remember from the Black Box era. Huge. Insane that he got involved. But he was then giving numbers about this after saying that he sold incredible. He has no idea. He doesn't see the stats. However, leaked PSN stats that these, okay, these are really limited numbers. These are PlayStation only and likely usually PS4 only. This is how many players launched the game. Need for Speed 2015 did 9.7 million before, and this is, this does not include sales still to this day. This was four years ago. There was a cutoff period of like a year when this came out. This, this leak was huge. I even covered it when it happened. 2015 definitely sold over 10 million and I, have said it sold 15. There's Xbox numbers out there. It's pretty easy to assume that this thing sold similar uh, or maybe better than those older games did. And if we go back to this saying that it was the biggest launch, Heat was just unparalleled in size. It was huge from every angle. From my viewership angle, like I could see it was crazy. And ultimately it was like a better game. But anyway, the point of this, I, I, I don't understand why we're fighting. This is not the discussion it doesn't matter like i'm just as mad that black box closed down as criterion being once again pulled from the game they shouldn't even have even had it in my opinion it should have still been black box and in combination maybe with criterion not just stripped away from it do doesn't matter we're literally on the same team why are we arguing it doesn't make any sense like i get it you worked on those and so those are better like i get it this is not an argument with you doesn't make any sense. So I wanted to bring you guys here. Uh, uh, this is a, maybe a stretch, <laughs> but they do have a whole bunch of openings and they've had them for a, a while, a lot of them. And it kind of makes sense that they just didn't really have the manpower, woman power to create the, the big game that they want. Like that's why Need for Speed is kind of being pushed to the side, right? That's why they're becoming a support studio, whatever. Maybe they should have a support studio? Well, they did. What happened to Codemasters Cheshire? Anyway, internships. That's even internships. I think I've pretty, I've kept it pretty calm, right? Normally I would be much angrier and more hostile. I've taken the time this time to not just jump the gun. And ultimately I just wanted to have this talk. Um, I personally am feeling again, pretty empty, sad, just, I don't, I, that's the best way I can describe it. It's like a loss. Um, I know Need for Speed isn't fully dead. Um, and I don't think you should be worried about that either. And I know there's a bunch of you out there that feel the exact same as I do, that just nothing really matches that experience, that feeling. Even when they get it, not 100%, because they usually don't. No game has that exact feel that it manages to pull off really well. I still think the perfect modern Need for Speed is within reach. And I think Heat Unbound mixture, they, they got so close to it. I pray that we see it soon, but likely the focus is going to be on Battlefield. And yeah, that's what we got. We went from Need for Speed 2024. Oh my God, I'm so excited to... Need for Speed 2030? <laughs> of course, I'll keep you updated with anything I know, but as of right now, this is fresh and likely fresh to the studio. This is how these things work. I remember that Ghost are pretty much similar to what we did, that they were no longer going to have jobs in the same capacity. So, thanks EA. So good.